Hey there guys, Napkins here. Um, now, I don't normally do this kind of thing, you know, like vlog about my personal life. It's normally like an update on what's going on on my channel or, you know, like the fact that I've been sick or something like that. But, um, you know, today's a really important day and I felt like it was kind of time to do a little story about it. So, um, yeah. For those of you guys that don't know, today is National Coming Out Day. Um, it happens every year on this day, um, and it's a really, really scary time for a lot of people. It's a time that's a reminder that maybe they can't come out to their family or any number of things that are going on in their lives. So, um, you know, I decided, you know, a lot of people share their coming out stories today, and I decided to do the same thing because maybe my story can help give somebody else the courage to do this or maybe um i don't know i just i just i i want to put it out there because i really feel like it could maybe reach somebody who's going through a really hard time right now so basically two years ago on this day um so 2013 yeah october 2013 um i went to um, down in Cincinnati with a really good friend of mine um, who I won't name just in case she doesn't want any attention on her but basically what happened was she was going home for a weekend and I asked her if I could come with because I'd never been to Cincinnati and um, you know I'd never been to Kentucky Kentucky right yeah Kentucky and um, that's right on the border you can just there's like a bridge there's a couple bridges you can go over and I thought that was really cool so I was, she was like yeah come with me come meet my mom come meet my dog come see these places you've never been so yeah and for a little bit of backstory I grew up in California which obviously is a very liberal place however I also went to a high school where we were kind of in the middle of like a church belt so, um, and I myself am very religious, so a lot of my friends, that's who I was hanging out with. And, um, so I was around a lot of very, very opinionated Christian people, which, like, isn't always a bad thing, but for me, in the sense of being a queer person, that wasn't the best environment for me, because a lot of the times I would, you know, overhear my friends saying stuff, like, when Prop 8 was really big when I was in high school, they were saying, you know, why should they be allowed to get married, and, uh, they'll, I, you know, I'm, they're okay with doing that stuff, but, like, stop asking for the same rights, and, you know, it's just, like, stuff that I was hearing, and it was really hard for me, and, like, I had a really hard time coming to terms with my sexuality because of that, so, um, yeah, and I would hear a lot of really bad things, especially about bisexual people, because people would call them sluts, or they'd say, I'd never want to, um, I never want to date a bisexual because they'd probably just cheat on me with both sexes. So, you know, just for like context, that's the kind of thing I kind of was hearing a lot of before I went away to Ohio, um, Ohio State University, which is actually a very, very liberal campus and is, Columbus is actually really well known for being a really positive queer town which I didn't know going into it actually because again it took me a while to come to terms with my sexuality and everything so um you know I found some friends um and they were all very comfortable with themselves basically I was in a I was now inside of a group that was much more accepting of that kind of stuff well so, you know being around that it kind of allowed me to like come to terms with myself and be like you know what it's okay there's nothing wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with who I am. But then the issue became, how do I talk to people about this? Because people don't realize it's actually really, really scary saying it out loud for the first time. Now that you've got background, I went home with my friend and she took me to IHOP one night because she loves IHOP and um, we're eating some pancakes and I felt like I was going to throw up. There was a couple behind us that had a baby. I was like, oh my God, they're going to overhear me saying this. They're going to judge me. My friend's going to stop talking to me, which is stupid because her best friend is lesbian. So like, I don't know why I was thinking that, but it was just the way that my brain was working. I say to her, so you know what today is, right? And she kind of looks at me like, um, yeah, I mean, I was like, yeah, it's national coming out day. She's like, okay, well, you know, it's just a, uh, 
Yeah, I just went, and I, I, I would not say it. I, that's how nervous, I seriously thought I was gonna throw up all over the pancakes. And I told her that later, she was like, Amy, you're so stupid. Why would you be nervous about telling me? And I'm like, dude, I don't know. Maybe you decided you had enough gay people in your life, who knows? So, um, but basically she knew what I was trying to say and she would not let me get away with not saying it out loud. So eventually I was able to just be like, look, I think I'm bisexual. I hope that's okay with you. And she was just like, okay. That was it. I mean, it was like, I, like I said, it was the most nerve wracking experience of my life. And it was just, you know, and it's so strange because once the words were out there, it's like this huge weight was off my shoulders. And I was like, oh my God, it makes it feel more real. And I just feel so much better about myself now that it's out there. And it was just amazing. It was just this, oh, it's just this experience that I'm so glad that I was able to get the bravery to have and you know from there it was just the domino effect but you know if it hadn't been for her being so chill about it two years ago then I probably would not be so comfortable with myself right now and I you know I really am very comfortable with myself now you know I was eventually able to come out to my parents and my brother um, and now I'm just kind of just open about it and it's just really nice because I don't feel like I'm lying to myself anymore if it wasn't for my friend two years ago today being as awesome as she is I don't think I'd be where I am right now I don't know um, so yeah you know it's it's really important that if somebody shares that with you you need to be very supportive and not you know try and make it about yourself or anything you just have to be there for them and realize that this is a really really fucking awful possible time for them you know cuz like they could be having the situation I was having where they weren't sure if their parents would accept them or just, yeah, it was just recognize it for what it is, basically, is what I'm saying. Oh, and then just a little cherry on top. I found out later that my friends knew before I even knew. Apparently it was really obvious that I was checking out girls as much as I was guys. And uh, then my friends were like, Amy, we totally knew before you did. And so it wasn't that much of a surprise. And I was like, well glad that I almost threw up in front of this judgy family behind me with their baby. Yeah. That's my story. Um, I wanted to tell you guys because, like I said, maybe somebody watching my channel is going through s this, a similar thing where they have were around people that weren't as accepting and they're not sure what step to take and um, maybe this will help them. I don't know. Um, or maybe it'll just be something nice that people can hear. I. Who knows, but yeah, so today is National Coming Out Day. Um, I hope that everybody stayed safe today, and I hope that if you had somebody come talk to you about this, that you were just as awesome as my friend was two years ago, and um, good on you if you were able to get the bravery to come out today. So um, yeah, if you guys ever need to talk to me about any of this stuff, please feel free to. Um, I. I'm always happy to talk to people about this sort of thing because, you know, I understand it, <laughs> obviously. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so, so dearly, and I hope you all have a wonderful and safe coming out day, even though it's kind of late in the day, but do you know what? It's fine. Okay. Bye!